Now, as promised, I said that there are from this five lessons that I learned from listening to the Nas song, sitting with my thoughts. I thought about five business products and services that could be created as a result of it. Now, here's number one, a mindful leadership workshop. Now, remember he said, importance of reflection and the importance of strategic thinking. Consider this, this mindful leadership work could be talking with leaders about developing these kind of skills, including strategic thinking, but from the lessons they've learned within the business itself. Now, the rest, of course, becomes the bigger thing that you would have to create for them, but we can include, you can include the emotional intelligence, resilience, all of these type of factors right now. Guide them through with reflection exercises. You can have, think that you can ping off of the song itself, like when he says, young boy wilding to a mature, reflective individual. You can think about the company at its early state, just wilding out, going out there and business in there, right? So now as they need to mature, the business needs to mature, think about the workshops as that opportunity for you to help them do this. Taking the energy that they once had and redirecting it. So number two, resilience coaching app. Now, how would that look? Think about the theme that Nas talked about. He talked about bouncing back after taking a loss. Now this app would offer personalized coaching sessions, call it what you want, resilience building exercises. It can have motivational content, things like that. How to set goals after setbacks. That becomes some of the things that based on response that you have to the feelings in the song itself, then think about that kind of thing as a product, right? Now, could you use that as a service? Yeah, we talked about that in the number one idea. But this one goes a little bit deeper and you could literally call it a resilience app, right? You come up with a cool name. This is what you do when you've suffered a setback. Bam, hit the app and then get all the things that helps them get motivated and back on track. Now, here's another elevation mentor program. Now, remember in the song, he talked about elevating right? Having a specific, what makes you elevate is the motivation you get from family, right? Now imagine this, you're creating this, this program and you create it so that you bring together young entrepreneurs and seasoned entrepreneurs. Now, are there things out there like that? Perhaps, but you do it in a better way. Remember, you're taking some inspiration from the song, but at the same time, you're saying, okay, how could I create from this? This is what we talk about in Monetize Your Life Academy and why I'm inviting you to come on in is because when we can take pieces of information, things that inspire us, we think it at, think on things at a deeper level so we can turn that information into income. We can turn that idea into income. We can turn those feelings, those setbacks, whatever it is, into products and services because we will productize them and then we will monetize them. And therefore, because you're living the life you live, that's individual, nobody else's life we then position ourselves to be different than anybody else. That's why I'm going to go ahead and invite you in. I'll leave links if you're seeing this somewhere. But the point is, we can create from the things that we come in contact with, our life things. We can create from them. All right, number four, a community feast initiative, right? Think about what he said. He says, make sure we all eat, right? He says, we all eat. Now you're thinking about this from the standpoint of, community feast initiative. What is that? Imagine you're partnering with local restaurants, food suppliers to hold a big old feast. Now, what does it do for the restaurants? It gives them marketing. You're putting it together, right? Now you can say, hey, my profits are gonna be reinvested in the community to support food banks or educational programs or other services and all that kind of stuff. But the key is, being inspired by we all eat suggests that you're going out there and you're saying, I'm going to bring together all the people that already have things. Now, keep in mind that you don't have to have a restaurant. You just have to have the you know wherewithal to go to the restaurant and say to them, hey, listen, I would like to come together and I would like to have a big feast, the Community Feast Initiative. Think about it. Think on that a minute. I know where your heart is. Your heart may be in it, well, I want to give back. Well, that's what Nas was talking about, how we all eat. Something like that. Here's number five. What about a creative expression platform? Think about that for a minute. Now, as you think about where this artist's journey goes to, 
right? The act of sitting with one's thoughts. So what this platform then would do is encourage the users to express themselves through music, through writing, through art, through other creative mechanisms. Now, of course, you could offer tools for creation. You can offer forms where people can get uh, conversation going, get feedback, all of these kind of things. I think over in Facebook, they call it groups, right? You can create this platform as a space for people to come together and mind through their creativity, to be inspired by more ideas. Now listen to what he says, I would go crazy if I couldn't rhyme. In other words, because he's an artist, if he couldn't express his art. Now imagine you now are bringing a creative expression platform to people that allows them to do just that in a, obviously a nice and safe environment where their ideas won't be critiqued, but it would have other people around them to lift them up. Again, it goes back to what we all eat. Listen, I'm gonna invite you in to Monetize Your Life Academy. We do things like this. We help you bring that stuff out. We help you get those ideas out. We help you take information, turn it into income so that you can have a flexible life, so that you can have the ability to travel, so that you can make money like when you sleep and all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna show you and teach you how to create these things and be creating these digital pieces of real estate, I like to call them, so that it will allow us to do those things. Come on in, everybody, and I'll see you inside.